What is up everybody? If you want to use a sign up for social media, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you uh, one actually great application that I use myself and this one is called Asana. Now Asana um, is an amazing place to don't lose track of your work, of your projects, of your social medias. If you are constantly um, posting a lot of stuff, uh, this is an amazing tool that it helped me uh, within a lot of months now, uh, even more than a year I believed. So, Sign in is just really, really easy. In my case, I do love to sign using my actual Google account because it's going to be just really, really easy to import on an actual account and I can actually make an integration of Isana into Google. So it's really like a lifesaver. So what I need to do, of course, is to just sign in and all of the information is going to be used to pump it up. As you can see, it says now that we are now inside. So he's going to be asking us for a full name. What I want to do is to type here my actual name. I'm going to go for Mickey and look how for Sra and go into continue. Now, what's your primary role? What you want to do is to look out if you're just looking for um, your social content and all that. What you want to do is to look out for an individual contributor or you can go for a freelancer, whatever you wanted to. I'm going to leave this like that and here what kind of work did you do this is really important guys to um to actually fill as much information as you can so asana can be helping you with all the features that can be really helping you so in my case i do want to look for project management which is actually this one and i'm going to go for continue now we do have project and process management we have personal task management and portfolio and workload management so as you can see, this one is the main objective that I want to look for and go into continue. Now, let's set up your first project. Let's say that my first project is for YouTube and here's going to be appearing a uh, YouTube project. So what's something you and your team are currently working on? So we go for YouTube channel 2023 and hit into continue. Now, what are a few tasks that you have to do for YouTube channel? Let's say uh, post content on January. Um, let's say post my first uh, video. And here I have to schedule my first video. And lastly, what I need to do is to share my video to or through socials and hit into continue. So this is like an example of what of how it's going to be looking. We do have, for example, different grouped that tasks, for example, the to-do list, the doing and done, which I believe it's like most common used. So we hit into continue and I can see this as a list, as a board, as a timeline and as a calendar. Um, you want to choose the best, best the best fits for you. In my case, I do love to use boards because it's really easy just to drag and drop your blocks as you are finishing and more and more tracking of your project. But here into the timeline, you can uh, track the time, and here into the calendar, you can track the days. The uh, let's say that you have like a last day, you have to finish that. You have a deadline, so you need to publish that as much as uh, as fast as you can. So in my case, I want to look out for board and looking to continue. Now here you can add your teammate emails as you are creating your project like right away. And I'm gonna go into continue. Now get a sign up for all your screens. In my case, I just wanna don't do this, but I can strongly suggest you to download out this for your phone, for your computer, for your tablet, wherever you want to do so you can keep all your information into its one place. I'm gonna skip this for now because I'm gonna be showing you how does this Asana worked. So uh, as you can see, we do have my workspace. We have a home, my tasks, inbox, reporting, portfolio, and goals. Now, I'm going to click into the X mark. You don't have to worry about this 30 day trial starts today. Because I'm going to click into the X mark. There are a few features that are only working for, um, let's say, a SANA completed account. For example, the dashboard, the workflow, and the calendar are only available for an account that, of course, has. Um, let's say like a premium account. So if you're just focusing into list and boards, you don't have to worry about anything because this is totally for free. In my case, I'm going to be focusing into board. So anything that it's outside board, I actually don't care. <laughs> okay. So as I just told you here, we do have the board section. 
where let's say that I have posting my first video, I'm doing this my first video, so I'm going to choose drag and drop like this. If I want to edit more stuff, let's say for example that I, I'm focusing into YouTube channel, uh, into my YouTube channel, so I'm going to go into the ad section, let's say I'm going to go for posted, and here I want to look for plus, scheduled, like this, and here into plus, now let's say draft, or just go into recorded, like this. So uh, I think that I don't need the one that says doing, I, uh, I can, let's say, customize this, I'm going to go back into list so I can see this into, I'm going to go into doing anything, and this one I'm going to move that into recorded. So as you can see here, I do have the signed persons that are going to be working into this specific project. In my case, it's only myself. I can go into this section, I can add more teammates via email, and you can even import the kind of priority. Let's say, for example, this is a high priority, so it's going to be uh, highlighting this purple color. And now if I go into my goals, let's say that I want to have one milestone. So my goal here from by the end of the month, let's say for example, is to gain, uh, let's say 10,000 subscribers, right? So here's my goal owner, here's my time period, and here's my privacy. And here into the members you want to add your member list, you can update a method, for example, automatically. And here into your progress source, you want to go into sub goals, and measure, do you want to go into currency total, or in my case, I just want to look into percentage and save my goal. And there you go. So here is going to be appearing to my actual status, and here's my appearing my actual subscribers. So I can connect myself goals. So this one is going to be filled as I am uh, finishing some uh, sub goals to automatically update this uh, goal progress. For example, connect a sub goal, and I can have, let's say, for example, reach a hundred subscribers subscribers like this I'm gonna copy this info and I'm gonna go and create this one and here I want to look for uh, parent goal here are all my members and I want to go into automatic and here into the measurement for example this is a percentage I'm gonna hit into save goal and there we go so I do have here my sub goals. As I am finishing this, I can just uh, finish and finish my my goals. And lastly, guys, something that I just really loved about you don't have to be worrying about the reporting because reporting is only for a free, for a actual premium account. So I don't want to focus in here. What I do want to focus into is into my actual workspace. So here into my workspace, I can see the overview of let's say this is my workspace I'm going to you can delete this you can edit this if you wanted to but this is let's say for example like a private mode you can see all your member list you can see all your projects you can create some templates and you can look out for more templates are something that's really a lifesaver so if I go into explore or templates I want to go for start from scratch my workspace custom uh, template like this and here you want to look out for title template, so I can go for, let's say this is now for Pinterest uh, post. I'm going to hit into create template. And here I have my project content, I have my overview optional, I can go into continue. And all of this information that's been filled, let's say that I want to do exactly the same thing, but instead of having a Pinterest post, I now, I now want to have some Instagram post. So I can use the same template to create more than just the one workspace. And you don't even have to start from scratch because we've already created an actual workspace. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started here into Asana. This is a very amazing place. So I think that you can get used to it really, really fast. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If this was very useful for you, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you in the next time. See you soon.